What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Avion Air channel. My name is Rich. Today we are in a Baron 58 and we're going to be practicing one of my favorite visual approaches to do and that's the Harbor Visual Drilling 29 in Portland, Maine. Currently uh, flying along Old Orchard Beach and look the weather here uh, at Portland. Uh, right now, winds are 150 at 6, 10 miles of visibility broken at 6,000. Overcast 6,500, temperatures minus 4, dew point minus 16, altimeters 3025. Alright, so that's the weather. As you can see on our moving map, flying down Old Orchard Beach, and if I bring up Approaches and the Harbor Visual 29. Okay, so first landmark as we come up from the south is going to be Cape Elizabeth and the Cape Elizabeth Lighthouse, which is out here at about 12 o'clock. You can see it there at four, uh, you see the ocean. It's that crescent shaped beach up there. So I'll come to the right a little bit. Fly along the outside of that. Probably come over this little island right here. Airport is coming up at nine o'clock. See the beacon out there. There's the white light and green, and magically our scenery has somehow caught up to us. <laughs> awesome, nice snowy day. Well, not really snowy, but beautiful looking snow on the ground. Right here is Cape Elizabeth, just on the Atlantic side, there's a lighthouse. I'm not sure if it's going to show up in the sim or not, maybe it will. If not, that's okay, we do have a lot of uh, terrain to associate or position with, so that's no big deal. All right. And they're passing a lighthouse now. Start a nice, easy left-hand turn. Start following the shoreline northbound. I don't know if I actually see that lighthouse or not. Nothing's sticking out to me as an obvious lighthouse. But it should be right off the left wing there. Anyway, so next landmark is three islands up here at about 12 o'clock. A uh, little small one has a lighthouse on it that we're going to be flying just to the right of. And then uh, we'll fly between the two bigger ones just to the north end of the smaller one. Uh, 
and we got uh, looks like Fort George's over there. Should be off on our right wing tip before we make a left turn uh, into the uh, the actual harbor itself. right off the nose to our left is the one that has this uh, Ram Island ledge light okay and then over on the left wing tip we have the Portland head lighthouse over there and there's the runway you can see it just inside the harbor start reducing a little bit of thrust Start slowing down just a little bit. We can start to configure for landing. We're gonna start making our left hand turn, fly between these islands. see uh, Fort George's down there on that smaller island. Reduce a little bit more throttle. We're going to go ahead and lower our landing gear. Get our approach flaps in. Make sure our mixture and prop are full forward. It's going to add a bunch of drag and trim up a little bit. Looks like I started descending just a little bit too soon. Making our turn uh, into the harbor. Now if you really wanted to uh, do this right, which I, I didn't really do. I didn't set up the localizer frequency in COM1. I'm sorry, in NAV1. Uh, but you would tune the uh, localizer frequency of 109.9 and follow the uh, localizer course I found. But it is 100% visual uh, here today. Put our final pull flaps in. Our pull back a little bit of power. Start making the right turn to line up with the runway. Looks like we got our uh, ground procs yelling at us. So it looks like on the uh, fast seat, we are right on the glide slope. up a little bit and start adding our power. We're going to go around. Touch you go. Gear's coming up. Alright, 
Alright guys, uh, for this next visual approach, we're going to be uh, coming in from the north, uh, passing a golf course off to the left, have uh, Bat Cove off on the right, and uh, looking for St. George's, or Fort St. George, excuse me, um, as we make our way uh, into the harbor. There's the uh, airport right there, at about our, uh, 1 to 2 o'clock. showing up on the visual approach plate. Looks like we are in the correct position, which is always nice. to the right. I really hope that uh, ground procs warning doesn't start going off again. That was very distracting last time. I don't think it will because I think it was already going off right about now anyway on that last approach. Alright, we line up with the runway here. Check our mixtures, our, and uh, props are full forward. Fuel pumps are on, landing gears down. Just a few 
not as fast. Let me ease up that throttle a little bit. Start pulling the power to idle. We'll keep coming down to the runway, start transitioning to the flare. Nose is coming up, there's idle. Yeah, all right. A little bit slippery on this snow covered runway. Looks like we can probably make Bravo. Easily. And we'll join Alpha. Take it back to the general aviation ramp. Get her flaps up. Alright, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. That's my uh, one of my favorite visual approaches. Harbor Visual Runway 29 in Portland, Maine. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, check me out on uh, Facebook and Instagram. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.